So hey guys, this is the video of the Ola Electric S1 Pro. As you guys can see, I've just recently booked the scooter and uh, I've come here to test ride this uh, bike. And uh, this is the seven inch display panel that is pretty big. And um, it has completely, you know, automated, you know, can be controlled with your uh, app, which is going to be coming from December 15th is what the date of the launch of the app. So once the app is launched, you can use that app to connect and control the complete scooter. So so this is how the scooter looks guys so the seat is really comfortable it's very soft and at the back that's the portable charger where you can you know i mean so that's a charging port where you can carry a charger a portable charger and connect it anywhere and all you have to do is just press on it and it'll open even if though even though your bike is uh, locked you can i mean switched off even though you can uh, still open it and uh, this is the 36 liter storage unit which is one of the biggest in a scooter uh, you know in the scooter category and you can store two uh, half helmets or you can store one full helmet with the uh, portable charger that they give with you. So we have a total of 10 buttons. So on the left hand side, as you guys can see, we have the headlights, which is the two modes. Then you have reverse and cruise control button, as well as the indicators and the honk. So when you press on the reverse and cruise button, it will work as a cruise. And if you click on the reverse mode when the speed is zero, then it will be you know used as reverse mode. I'll show you to the end. So on the right hand side, you have the mode switch, the ignition, the play and pause, increase and decrease and the volume button. So basically the mode switch, there are three different modes. That's the normal sports and the hyper mode. And depending on the performance, it'll move. And uh, we also have this two ports, two, you know, two places to storage, small thing. And also it has a speaker on both the sides. So it's exactly the same on the right hand side as well. It also has a geo sim, you know, built in this thing. So the reverse mode, like I said, all you have to do is click on the uh, reverse mode button when it's zero, completely zero speed, you click on the reverse and all you have to do is throttle it to the opposite direction. So once you throttle it to the opposite direction, it gives you that pull. You know, as you guys can see, it, it you know, it's going on reverse. So uh, let me show it from a different angle. So all you have to do is put in the reverse mode and throttle it. So initially it's going to be a little difficult because you know, you've never ridden a bike in a reverse that with an acceleration. So if you just throttle it in the opposite direction, so it's getting, even though the speed, you know, the maximum speed it's going to go in reverse is only two kilometer per hour. But even though the speed is less, it has a very good, um, you know, torque, which is going to help you push even through the slope. So that's the reason, even though there's a steep slope, you guys can see it's easily going. So it's also claimed that even if two people, uh, you know, even if the pillion rider is sitting, you can easily take it on the slope. So that's what uh, the Ola's claim. And we, uh, you know, I've tried, tried it with my mom. So I was sitting and my mom was sitting in the back. And when we tried to throttle, it did go. So yes, a good thumbs up for that. So the reverse mode works perfectly fine and now coming back to the normal mode all you have to do is press the reverse bu button again and it will go back to your normal mode and all you have to do is throttle normally like as usual as you ride your normal scooters and now as you guys can see the headlight is in the normal mode not in the high beam as you guys can see a little you know it's a low lighting that's the reason the video is also a little blur so as you guys can see once i turn you'll see the headlight you know the light also turning around so it's pretty decent and it's in a good angle so even though, even though, you know, even while these turnings and maneuvering, it was really smooth. I never had any discomfort while riding a scooter because it's pretty height. You know, the handlebar has a little height. So it's like, you know, it's really comfortable when you sit. Like, you know, you have a good straight position on your back and it's really comfortable while riding. So even my mom, who's around 5'3", you know, she is also really comfortable while riding. So it has no issues. I'm around 6, so even I feel comfortable. So no matter what height you are, it's going to be really, uh, you know, comfortable while riding. And so this is how it looks in the front. This is the normal headlight, which I said. And you all have to do is switch on the high beam and both the lamps is going to be turned on. So guys like this you know whatever feature the you know it has almost 181 kilometer range for per charge and you have 115 kilometers uh you know as a top speed and uh, this is the bag holder as you guys would have seen initially two helmets would have you know fit there so it's easily fit and it has a total of 6.5 hours of charging and uh, this is a USB port that you have given to charge your phone. All you have to do is open it, connect your USB and put the phone in there. And if you have, you know, I have an iPhone 11 which didn't fit completely in. So you just have to keep it slant. If you have a phone like an iPhone 7, it fits inside. So I'm just giving it for you for a comparison. And in fast charging, it, you know, it charges around 75 kilometer range in just 18 minutes. So like mentioned earlier, we have this 12 inch alloy wheel, which is there in both front and back. So it's basically interchangeable. And uh, the speed that's basically 0 to 60 is done in 5 seconds. So the other colors and other features, additional features complete, I'll be putting in the description so you can definitely check it out. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such videos.